Hello. Blind Pew here. As you will know from my previous transmission, link to that on screen now. Having returned from the Formidian Rift I'm now set on upgrading my frame shift drive. Given that Felicity Farseer has told me that I need to collect a lot of materials I think that I will change ships to something that can carry a lot of collector limpets, as I really, really do not like scooping. Also, I have heard that things have got a bit more dangerous in civilized space as many Naya do wells have been using engineers to upgrade their weapons and getting a tad more aggressive in their activity. So, I feel that I need some additional protection. For these reasons, I am shifting to my python for now. There we go. Ah yes, that feels better. And let's head out. Let's test the water in this resource extraction site. I'm sure we will have all the materials we need in no time. Oh, no. How inconvenient. A Cobra Mark IV. Euphoria here may be an expert but sometimes you do wonder of the intellect of these guys. Does he really think he can win? Well, Euphoria. I have news for you. You can't. Time to release my horde of collect limpets. So, as I said before I was so rudely interrupted. Let's test the water in this resource extraction site. I'm sure we will soon have all the materials we need. Aha. Who is this guy? Wanted. We should make short work of him. Oof. These missiles sound to be making quite an impact and make it rather difficult to see. However, they are not, in fact, making much impact on my shields it seems. Come on. It's inevitable. I want to move on from this mono. And out with the collection limpets. How I love these. They allow me to entirely avoid the drudgery of scooping. Right now. I've heard that in this system they sell. Oh come on. Again. This is grating on my nerve. A deadly python. With plasmas. Certainly something to fear, but it's not clear why they are interdicting me. It's not like I'm carrying valuable cargo or anything. This fellow certainly is making an impression on my shields. Luckily the local police have turned up now. Off he pops. Limpets away. Uh oh. The limpets have picked up some illegal cargo and the fuzz are scanning me. Guess I'll take the fine. So, as I was saying before I was, once again, interrupted. I believe we can buy some of the energy grid assembly materials we need in this station close to where they are manufactured. This is where I like the python. Truly a great all round ship and capable of landing on the medium landing pads here at outposts. And there they are. Energy grid assemblies 5 please. Problem is they are a commodity so will sit in cargo and will be lost if we get destroyed. Also, I have absolutely no doubt, they will attract yet more interdictions. Oh joy. Just briefly docking here. I'm pledged to Li Yong Rui but this is enemy territory and a few of Jival's Shield of Justice ships have taken an interest. I may unpledge as this is an additional complication I just don't need at the moment. I've only stopped for a frame shift wake scanner as I know that some useful materials can be picked up by scanning the high wake of the larger ships. On we go. So, here I am on Nishi at 7B. 
Sources tell me it is a good source of yttrium which I do need. I've decided to have look for this as my search for the other materials is not going well. It is taking much longer than I thought. Aha. No. No luck. Now then. Sigh. Ah. Still no. Still nothing. This is becoming increasingly irritating. Time to move on. I rather think. I have now learned that some of the materials I need can only be obtained from the destroyed carcass of transport ships. So Felicity Farseer would now have me attacking the innocent for my FSD upgrade. What more does she want? At least it's in hostile space opposed to Leong Rui. That's my excuse anyway. And I'm going with it. Notice that I've switched to my ass. The short jump range of the python is not conducive to my next trip. Targeting drives. Not sure why as my intention is to destroy. I must have conditioned myself to do it automatically. I've got rather a lot of missiles fitted. Lovely. Single volley should do it. And it does. Limp it out. Cargo ships are in very short supply it seems. I'm getting a bit desperate. Should I? Shouldn't I? It's a big risk. Do it pew. Oh no. I was still in the no fire zone. The station is firing on me. One more volley might do it. Can I just do this in time? No. There go the shields. Taking emergency evasive action. Time to get out of here. Phew. I have this one at my mercy, though I have built up quite a bounty on my head now. Time for the cue de grass. The fuzz are here already. This is always the problem. No time for limpets. I'll risk it if feed dropped what I need. No. I'm off then. Before the fuzz take my shields out. Quite a few seem to have extremely high powered weapons. So now you see why I switched to the asp. I'm making a quick trip to Mera P5C and the Pleiades. I'm told that the barnacle sites are a good place when looking for atrium and the like. Looks as though these well known sites are protected now. Not sure by who as it says, no faction. I'll be back to investigate in more detail soon. But for now, let's harvest the protrusions until we get atrium. Nope. Doesn't look like there was any there. It's getting a bit busy here now. Looks like I was not the only one with this idea. A commander Davos Seaworth has just arrived with no doubt a similar activity in mind. And now commander Mr. Morris. Thanks for the chat and useful information commander Mr. Morris. So, I now have the atria my need. But it took a long long time. Which was a bit annoying. Oh, of course, here we go again. However, this will let me show you my new method for dealing with these desperados. Simply boost away, at your leisure. Flight assist off. And throttle to zero. Weapons out. Rotate around so that you are now flying backward and the gap to the would-be assailant is ever increasing and release the first missile volley. Second volley. Third volley. Fourth. Do I need another? Oh, alright then. And there he goes. 
And off we go. Oh, has he dropped anything of interest? Nope can't be bothered. Onward. As we now have all we need. Back again to Farseer Incorporated, who are very friendly towards me now. How nice. It's like having a bit of a home. So my jump range is currently 31.4 light years with current fittings. What can you do for me Felicity? Tier 4 FSD upgrade please. You would not believe the difficulty that I have had collecting the materials so I only have enough for one go at this. Therefore, Felicity, please make it a good one. Spin those wheels. I think I'm out of nudges. Come on. Not too bad. Aha. Even better. With a result like that I may be in two minds about applying the tier 5 modification. If I get a bad roll with that could it be worse? Range is now 41.1 light years. That's a 30% increase. I'm liking this. You know. I have an idea. If I can get dirty drives on this thing it should jump far and be fast. That makes it my ideal exploration ship but it will have another use. It will also be the ideal smuggling ship. I therefore need to focus on the materials for dirty drives now. Sigh. Perhaps I'll leave that to my next transmission. As, once again, Farseer Incorporated fades away. I'll bid you. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there. There are only two things that my scanner is picking up in the crash site. One is the cargo racks, but the other is these yellow crates. And even more strangely only the yellow crates, not these red ones. If we look at the crates we can see that they bear the company name Kane Massey on one side. I can't make out what this smaller text says. The other side shows some sort of powered screen indicating that the cases themselves are powered. What could they contain? I can't find any way to open them or recover them. 